Hello, and welcome back to what's bubbling at Zim. I'm Dr. Abstract, and in this Zim bubbling, we're going to take a look at more new things in Zim version Zim02. Let's go to the Zim site now at zimjs.com. And, oh, there, there it was. I just saw it, the carousel right here. So um, this was made by Marva. So thank you very much. That's, uh, that's great. From Zim Slack. And then we did some adjustments to it and various things like that to integrate it into Zim. So cheers. Let's go take a look. Here it is. Well, we were already looking at it happening right there on the very front page. So now this is the Zim Carousel. Oh, it remembered. I was wondering, why did this go backwards? So there's a couple things that we can set here. Um, one is whether it remembers when you come back to the page, whether it remembers where you were in the carousel. And that's handy. We've done that at the front. Because if you're jumping off to examples and you go back and you have to start at the beginning of the carousel, it's kind of annoying. So we do have a bounce on. Ultimately, we may progress to a wrap at some point, but it's a lot easier to just bounce it back and forth. Um, the way that it was done, it was set up as a tile. As you can see that we're tiling this, so we could have like a dozen things that we're, we're moving across, or we could just have one thing that we're moving across. And we can also use the arrows to, um, to select like that as well and the swipe. So there we are swiping. There is a setting as well to let you decide whether you want to keep on going once once you've already done some manual work. So here we are doing manual work. Should that just stop and we should never start the carousel again? Right now the default is it waits. Uh, there's a, a time that it, it waits between moving and if it's going to restart we wait twice that amount of time uh, by default. So you can check that out and all the parameters of the carousel. Let's uh, go take a look at the code for that now. So we'll drop that down and here we are. The Zim's front page has a carousel too that you might want to check out. So we're bringing in some assets that are all called women 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, I guess. So we're making those assets. Uh, by the way, these are images that we're bringing in, but we can pass in any display object and move those along. So they can be interactive inside as well. And before I forget, we already do have a marquee, which is very similar with indicators on the side showing which number you're on. It, it doesn't, um, doesn't quite handle multiple things though. So if you had a bunch of thumbnails, it doesn't slide a bunch of thumbnails across. It, it handles only one picture at a time. And it was used for ads and we used it back in Zim, I don't know, Zim Neo, Zim 10 maybe. Uh, I can't remember when it was brought in, but I think it was Zim 10. And we showed a lot of interactive works in there. So for interactive advertising, we could just display a whole bunch of interactive works in there. Uh, this can be similar. You can display interactive works in here as well. So here it is, the carousel right there. We're saying, hey, the items are that. How many items do we want to view? So if we put this to three, then we refresh here. Actually, we want to open up in a browser here. Uh, there are three of them, but they don't quite fit anymore on the screen. Okay, so that can be controlled in various ways, I suppose. Let's see, so if our view number three, we would have to scale this down again. Uh, so we either can guess at the scale, dot seven like that. Let's have a view in here. Oh, I forgot to center it or scale it before. So here we are scaling it before we center it because what we did is we centered it big and then scaled it down and it's registration points in the left, top left corner. So like most rectangular things, registration point there. So there it is showing three at a time, but uh, anyway, that, you can do that if you want, or oh, one at a time or whatever number, the view numbers. This is the time for the animation or uh, as it um, animates from one thing to another. It looks like we don't have the time for how long we want to wait. And that time is called the um, I don't know. I'll have to look it up. Two times, basically. One is your animation and the other is the 
the carousel time. So let's have a look in the docs. We'll go to the docs here. Docs, carousel, our car, view num time spacing. Oh, let's see, what do we do with that time? Time and seconds to animate between items. Also sees in time constant. Uh, well, wait a minute. Oh, right. It's when we do the um, the other thing here, the cycle. So cycle's got a cycle time. So time is just your swipe time. And because without the cycle, it doesn't even cycle. So here's the cycle right here. Let's comment out the cycle and have a look. So we refresh here. There it is. So it's it doesn't cycle. And now it's just up to the, the end user to swipe between these things. And the, the, the time is the animation time. If we cycle, then we have the choice of adding a time. So we've added two seconds. And then it looks like a, oh, a bounce once. What does bounce once mean? Only bounce once and then stop. I think that might be in the wrong place now. Let's have a look. Under the docs, we did some adjustments. Cycle time, transition time, bounce, bounce number. Yes. Okay, so this is cycle time. Transition time, mm, one. And then bounce true and a bounce num. So there we go. All right, now this should only bounce once. Sits there. There's one. There's the bounce. And we're back to the beginning. That's it. So it just gave you a little indication as to what was there, but then you get to continue to use it yourself. Good, glad we caught that. Yay. <laughs> yeah, we had adjusted that. So we'll save that up and upload it to the browser or upload it to the server. And that should be good for us to go. What else have we got? So that's with the cycle. I think that's it. Yeah. All right. So come in and try it yourself. You might want to take a look at what's what's happening on the front of the, the Zim site as well. Uh, we can take a quick peek there if you want. Here's the Zim. This is the carousel. And we'll go control U to find out the source. And there it is right there. We styled the arrows in this case. It has no parameters for the arrows, so but you can uh, adjust the arrows with the style. There's the carousel. We're changing the picks there. And... Uh, Oh, so here we, we we passed in just strings for the JPEGs. And we can pass in those strings as well as an array. And the carousel will say, oh, if it's a string, I'll assume you mean go grab a, a preloaded picture. Okay, the reason we copied that might have been for some other reason that we no longer need carousel. Yeah, that's right. We were trying to, we were going to connect this up, but then we decided to make the URLs be a separate array. Um, just to keep it simple for you guys, if, if you wanted a JPEG with a link, JPEG link, you, you've got, you, they don't have to have the same names. We do have the same names. And then we could have automated that a little bit. And when we did, we found that uh, just be careful when we pass in the pics to the carousel, this array, it turns that array into actual images, an array of images, and then they no longer uh, matched up properly. But we could probably take that off. It, it wouldn't matter in this case because we're not using it down in here. We're not using the same array twice. All right. Okay. This has been a What's Bubbling at Zim. And we were taking a look at the carousel. Thanks, Marva, for uh, doing that um, for us. That's that's amazing. And isn't that nice? We had Frank Loss do the, the keyboard. Marva's now done the carousel. We've got somebody else working on a new thing that's going to come out soon. So that's, uh, that's excellent. Come on in to zimjs.com slash slack, zimjs.com slash discord. We'd love to see you there. Maybe you've got something uh, that you can add. Cheers. <laughs>